So, uh, good afternoon. Um, for Minister uh, Havisto, their Pekka, and uh, uh, Defense Minister Kaikon, their auntie, uh, welcome back uh, to the NATO headquarters. It's always a great uh, pleasure to see you here. I have to admit that it will be an even greater pleasure to welcome you uh, as full members soon, uh, full members of uh, the NATO alliance. And therefore, I welcome the uh, announcement by Turkey that uh, uh, they will now move forward on the ratification of Finnish uh, membership. And uh, I hope that the Grand National Assembly in Ankara uh, can make a speedy decision on the uh, ratification. I also welcome the Hungarian announcement that they will vote on uh, Finnish uh, ratification uh, next uh, week. Um, Finland and Sweden applied for NATO membership uh, together, uh, and uh, all NATO allies invited Finland and Sweden uh, to join our alliance at our summit uh, uh, last uh, year. Uh, but of course, the most important thing is that uh, both Finland and Sweden become members uh, as soon as possible, not that they join exactly at the same time. Uh, we welcome the progress which, are, which is now made on uh, finalizing the ratification of Finland, and we will continue to work hard. It will be a top priority to ensure that also Sweden uh, will become a full member in the near uh, future. Uh, President Putin invaded uh, Ukraine with the declared uh, goal of having less uh, NATO in Europe. He is getting exactly the opposite. There will be more NATO in Europe, demonstrated by the fact that both Finland and Sweden applied and are invited to become uh, full members. And uh, when Finland joins, uh, NATO's border with Russia will more than double, uh, with uh, 1,300 kilometers uh, more uh, border uh, between uh, NATO and, um, and Russia. Um, Finland and Sweden are already in a much better position now than before uh, you applied, uh, because when you were invited, uh, you got a new status in our relationship with NATO. Uh, Finland and Sweden participate uh, at NATO meetings, sit at the NATO table, um, uh, are integrating into NATO's civilian and military structures. Uh, many allies have uh, uh, given uh, security assurances to both Finland and Sweden. Uh, so it's absolutely inconceivable that there will be any threat against uh, Finland or Sweden without uh, NATO uh, reacting. Um, I look very much forward to having you as full members. I hope that that can happen uh, very, very soon. And then we'll continue to work hard to also get uh, Sweden in as soon as possible. So welcome to both of you. It's great to have you here. And uh, please pick up. Thank you, Secretary General. Stoltenberg, dear gents, thank you for receiving us again here in the NATO headquarters and we feel always very warm when we come here for your support, what you have showed us during the way, actually personally taking part even to the tripartite meeting, last tripartite meeting here in Brussels between Finland, Sweden and Turkey. And I think all our efforts are really appreciated in Finland. We had uh, last week, Friday, a visit with our President Niinistö to uh, Ankara and we heard from President Erdogan his commitment now to send uh, uh, our application to be ratified in the Turkish parliament. We, of course, welcomed very much that decision. And we have also heard from uh, Hungary that they plan now to, to uh, process with the ratification in the Hungarian parliament. So we hope that this process is now very rapid, both in Turkey and in Hungary, and then things can be processed also here in NATO rapidly. As you rightly said, we feel in Finland that uh, Sweden is our closest partner. We applied together the NATO membership and we hope to achieve the goal to be members of NATO before the Vilnius summit together with Sweden. We feel that our membership is not complete until Sweden is part of the NATO as well. And we also want to thank all countries that gave their security assurances during this uh, uh, period when we applied for the NATO membership. Finns are very security oriented people and we are very thankful for those countries that have been guaranteeing our safety during the application process. Thank you. Thank you, Jens. Secretary General, uh, during the recent days we've taken important steps in our path to NATO and we are pleased with the process and, the, uh, and uh, pleased with the, especially with the progress of our process. Uh, so. Uh, Things are moving now to the good, good direction. Of course, we've hoped also that, that Sweden would be coming in at the same time, but uh, 
maybe it's not possible now, but uh, the sooner the better. So we have to work hard to get Sweden in as soon as possible. Finland has a strong defense and uh, we are a provider of security in Northern Europe. And uh, we see that uh, this will be a win-win. It's joining NATO is good for Finland, but it's uh, joining NATO is good for Finland, but it's good for NATO as well. And that's the same in Sweden as well. So, uh, we have to work, work with this, this also. So I'm looking forward for good discussions with you, Secretary General. Thank you. Thank and, you. and one more thing. Thank you for good support during the process. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Thank you so much. Let me move on. So we'll just do a quick photo here again. If you can have the same, okay. the same order. Yeah. Okay. Then, uh, Closer, I think. Yeah. Okay. I think. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, the background uh, there, once again, uh, welcome to Network for Four. But uh, uh, soon we will meet uh, you in a different capacity. We will meet you as. Uh, Full members of the alliance, and I'm um, very much looking forward to that. And um, as we just said, out 